G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at something that uh, I've been watching for a long time on um, AliExpress. They brought this out, Lego actually officially brought this out um, a couple of years ago now and its price was pretty exorbitant. Um, so I've been watching this because I'm a huge Simpsons fan and eventually got to a point where I went, you know what, that's a really good price. I think they're having a bit of a sale so I jumped on it. Gave it a go, watched a few reviews on YouTube as well to see if it was worth it, and I can tell you this, this is definitely worth it. Um, so as you can see here, here's the booklet. Basically comes with everything that you need that would be pretty much the exact same thing in the Lego set, just minus the Lego branding. So as you can see there, it says I'm Simpson, so that gets them out of copyright law. It says it's Yeshwin, but it is uh, Lepin as well. Pretty much the same company. This is your booklet, um, just the one booklet on the back there. You can see some of the, the features, the ways you can set up the, the house. You've got Maggie putting the camera there into the toilet. You've got the Simpsons car, the garage. So uh, everything going on here. Homer stealing old Ned's stuff. So um, I'll give you a quick look into the book. As I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, you just follow the build. You can see there I've been ticking them off as I was doing them, putting them through. One tip from me, uh, when you get this, it comes in basically like 50 odd bags, clear plastic bags. I recommend separating them into colours. Took me about probably half an hour to do, but it paid off in the long run. Because uh, unlike Lego, where the bags are numbered, uh, so you know to do bag one and then the book will tell you to open bag two and work from there. This does not do that. But anyway, that's enough of the book, because what we're here to do is have a look at the set. Now the first thing first... I'll go through the little extra accessories, uh, like all good things from when you get the Lepin gear. Uh, a lot of it you'll find is um, taken off other things. So you get a lot of these little badges in here, you get some combs, you get knives and forks, pots and plates. Uh, you can use them in the set as well. You got a pair of scissors there, a few extra little pieces left over. But all in all, it is a fantastic set. We'll get down here and have a look at Ned first. We'll go through the outside stuff and then we'll have a look at the inside of the house. So here's Ned. There's the figure there, really nice figure, not too bad with the, the detailing. Hail to the chef, got these two sausages there on the barbecue, the barbecue is fantastic. And if you spin it around, hopefully you can see that. So there were a couple of stickers to apply, and that's the property of Ned Flanders. So again, that joke that Homer's stolen stuff. You got some lovely little deck chairs there, beautifully put together, with a nice little drink there. Then you got the back here, you got the skateboard and the skate ramp. So you got Bart with El Bato. Actually, I'll stand that up the right way. There you go. So I'll focus my camera in there. So we've got El Bato there. And then we've got Bart, which is pretty much who he is. Moving down the front here, we've got Maggie. She's just helping Marge do some potting. And we've got Marge here as well. Marge comes with the, uh, the dress accessory or the skirt accessory. You can see there it's not the greatest lineup with her uh, her outfit, but uh, it is what it is. And you probably could spin that around to have that lineup again. So it gives you the two options: you can have the dress or without the dress. So you can spin it around there. Then we got uh, Lisa here. Spin that around. She too has a little dress accessory or, or the bottom of her skirt. Plus, we then have the mailbox with some mail. We then move on to Homer, looking a little bit worse for wear after a day at work. I really like the work badge he's got there, got the briefcase. Then we get the Simpsons car, the Homer family car, which uh, is really nice. You've got the little ding there, like the, uh, the number plate that you have there from the Simpsons movie. Then you've got the uh, the back of the car which has a operating boot if I can get it to open up and it comes with the inanimate iron rod so Homer can walk around with that um, the only grope I had with the set is the steering wheel uh, it wasn't the actual steering wheel that came with the car it was to be used for another piece but uh, pretty much was able to get it to work you got the little sticker decal there of the, the radio cassette player Nice little vehicle, you've got the open roof, which leads nicely to the garage. But what we'll do is we'll have a look at the house, because the house pulls apart. I'm going to sweep everybody away, if we can move them. And let's have a look. So the first thing first, 
is we're going to separate the car port. So you can see there just the pins and it just unlocks, pops away and this is the garage or carport we some people say here in Australia. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you is the roof. So the roofing system actually comes off. So you can see there just has two little tabs that allows it to hold on which allows you access into the carport or the garage and you can see there so the detailing in here is quite nice you've got a workbench you've got some tools some spray cans and a little cupboard there you've got the operating garage door which is fantastic so it just goes down and up you just pull the little tab there and as you can see it stands quite nicely and then on the other side here you've got um, just another space where you can put a garden tool and the other nice part you can see the walkway through the door there because it does actually lead you into the house just while we're here we'll show you the air conditioning I think this is a, a good little gimmick good little gag to the property of Ned Flanders so they stole the air conditioner from Ned um, now to put the roof back on you can see here you got these white little stoppers here you have them facing down and they just rest nicely on the side there so really like the way you can have the exposed roof Sorry, my camera keeps going out of focus. And uh, it just keeps things nice and neat. Now, moving up to the top here, there's a couple of sections here. So the first one is we've got the roof, so we're gonna take that off in one big piece. So you've got the antenna there, which is great, which exposes you into the house. So you've got the bedrooms here. So this is Homer and Marge's bedroom, the toilet and the shower bathroom. And then we have Lisa's room. And then I'm going to spin the house around. Oh, actually, I'll open it up. There we go. So you can see there just on the hinge feature. Now we've got some things to look at. So I'm going to take the roofs off so you can see what's inside. So again, really like, fantastic little set. Let's the light in. And it's quite easy to remove. So let's move through and have a look at some of the features. So this is the, uh, the front door. Brings us in. So we've got the piano here with a little sticker sheet there that you had to apply, but uh, really well done. And all these are removable, you can take them out. So you can see the level of detail that's gone into to designing these. Then up here we have the bedroom. So Lisa's bedroom, we've got the bookshelf. And then we have the next bedroom, which is Homer and Marge. I really like the way the beds have been done. There's Maggie's cot. There's the, uh, the stairway going down. You've got Bart and Lisa's door, so you can tell which one's Bart's. Then we move into Lisa, so we've got the, uh, the makeup mirror and the little thing there. You can see that I've used the little ribbon there to place on. Got the camera and the hairbrush. Moving downstairs, we have the TV room. Get that to focus for you, and the TV, the iconic TV and the iconic brown chair. And then we have the kitchen now. Again, removable furniture. So you just slide it out and you can pull it out and you can have a good look at the kitchen there. So you can see we've got a pot on the stove, we've got the sink um, and we'll have a look. But basically what I really want to show you now, the next step is this piece comes off. So it's not just one piece, but you can take more pieces off to expose more things going on. So here's Bart's bedroom, you can see the Krusty the Clown poster, the radioactive man, the bed light. His lucky red cap, um, and then it really does expose us even more into the uh, the lounge room. So again, the sticker decals, simple stickers, not as uh, bright and vibrant probably as the Lego sets and the and the true colours, but you can um, get the gist of what's going on there. So I'll just move that out of the way. And again, as I said, everything's removable, but everything's got a position as well. So there's the TV. And we've got itchy and scratchy, which is fantastic. But probably the best room I want to show you is this room here, and that is the bathroom. I'm going to zoom in over the top. So you've got the toilet there, you've got the shower, you've even got the toilet paper uh, on the, the roll there. You've got the hot and cold switches. They really have gone to a level of detail, which is uh, true to the show. If you're a fan of the show, you're going to know what's going on. You're going to appreciate a lot of the detail that's in here, the floor colorings all throughout the house, the stairwell going up, the little vacuum cleaner. Uh, as I said, it really is a fantastic set. And the figures that I have, this is a, one of the original Lego um, Bart Simpson figures, came out as one of those uh, sealed packs. And when you compare it to um, Bart, the, the one that comes, basically it's just in the eyes that really is the difference. Other than that, the quality is the same. 
a little darker on the, the wheels for the, uh, the Leopard version. And the Leopard one did come with the sticker to apply, just not as bright as the red there. But you really do have a, a fantastic set. Um, everybody looks a little bit mopey, but who cares? At the end of the day, if you wanted to upgrade your, uh, your Simpson set, like I've got all the uh, Series 1 and 2, so I could bring them in if I wanted to. So really, really, really impressed with this. If you're looking for a, a Lego Simpson set, if you're looking for a Christmas present, a birthday present for someone who's a Simpsons fan, I really recommend this. You can find them on their AliExpress. A lot of the time it's free delivery at uh, really, really good prices. So uh, I've recently um, ordered myself the Quickie Mart. So hopefully that's on its way in the next couple of weeks and then I'll build that and do another review. But anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. I uh, really appreciate all the... Uh, the questions and comments and just the feedback on how I'm going in the, the channel. As I said, I just do this as a bit of a hobby, so it's a bit of fun. Um, got a couple of pops that I'm going to do a review on soon, so hang around for that one. But anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Um, cheers.